here with Blaze head coach Danny Stewart after the home win against Dundee. Coach, your overall thoughts on that game? Oh, just a, another scrappy performance, you know what I mean? Just character and said it last night. But uh, you know what? Fair play to, you know, some key guys this weekend. Mott was tremendous for us when, when he needed to be. Um, you know, we had tonight we had Forbes. He dropped back on D. He did a great job for us. Yanni played through an injury. We didn't feel he'd be available. But um, he found a way once we heard about the Halbert situation. And, um, you know, our D played phenomenal. We had guys, Penny, V, Marshy, double, you know, double shift in that center most of the weekend which isn't easy to do um and all through the lineup just you know everyone everyone was at their best you know we bought into what we needed to do and that was to play scrappy ugly hockey and simplify our game and and they did that and we you know it was great to get four points you know with considering we essentially played with 12 skaters last night and 13 tonight and um we're through in the in the Challenge Cup as well after the uh, the, the Manchester and Nottingham results. So after a, a big win against Cardiff last night, that must be a, a kind of a bit of a relief, kind of almost like you've deserved that because you put in a heck of a shift. Yeah, I, I said the same thing to Kino. I said, you know, it's uh, you know for us to go down there and, and 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 do what we did last night and then not get rewarded for it would have been would have been a shame. So it was good that that went our way and you know the curse of the cops over. We're through and uh, you know but hey listen we're through and you know we're looking to, to go make some noise in the quarterfinals. So um, you know we're thrilled right now. We're in a good spot in the league. We're through in the cops. So you know it's happy days right now. Would you say that they were two really mature performances? Tonight was a one. Uh, sorry, last night was a one goal game. Tonight was tight, and it was that second period, wasn't it, where we were able to pull away? Yeah, no. I again just buying into playing the right. Way. Some, I, I mean, I always say it. I think at this level, it's some of the, the, the toughest things to do is is it's to get guys to to buy into that simplicity and that simple game. Um, talk coaches talk about it all the time, playing the right way, and that and that's what you mean. And um, the guys did it for large parts, you know probably majority of the of the, of the weekend so um you see the result for four points and we're a good spot in both competitions it was only a few weeks ago where you were saying that you wanted some guys to get going offensively and we're starting to see the scoring come through now aren't we so uh, you must be really pleased in, in in all three zones with what you're seeing yeah no no absolutely you know once once guys get a couple you know feds got one again tonight kivy had two last night and um, you know, we're getting guys on the sheet and that's just going to build their confidence. Yanni got on the score sheet again tonight. So, um, huge, huge for us. You know, we, uh, we played some good hockey early on. I felt, you know, you know barred that first weekend, but you know, we had two close games against Guilford in, in the second weekend of the cup and we just bit snake bit and we couldn't find the back of the net and, um, some other games as well. So, you know, the more, the more of those guys find the back of the net and, the, you know, the confidence will grow and hopefully we can, we can move on from that. We've been on the wrong side of some disciplinary decisions um, over the last couple of weekends. Again tonight, things got physical right at the end of the game. All being said, though, you must love that these guys stick up for each other when push comes to shove. Yeah, I know, absolutely. You know, a guy goes through modder there. I, I haven't seen the video. I don't know if it was uh, accidental or a guy gave him a little bit of a bump. But, you know, a guy goes through your goalie, you, you got to show you're going to stand up for him. And look, yeah, it was there was a lot of adversity this weekend. You know, everything from, you know, going back to last Sunday and losing that game the way we did and losing a couple guys through suspension and injury. And then through the week, yeah, and he goes down and, um, you know, you're backs against the wall and we just we just found a way I mean just a gutsy performance all around going to t today and you know we don't we don't find out about the Halberts uh, suspension until past noon today and you know we're three hours from the guys arriving at the rink and you know we have to adjust things do that your power play units and stuff like that so definitely not ideal you know we'd like to like to think that we we would have found out sooner but um again you know we don't agree with a lot of the calls but we got on with it and we found a way thank you coach yeah, thanks guys